Hey guys, so I want to share one of our favorite places with you. It's located in between Oliver, BC and Okanagan Falls, which are in the South Okanagan. Uh, it's Vassal Lake Wildlife Center, but um, it's kind of broken into two different sections. There's the wetlands and bird sanctuary area, as well as California mountain sheep area, which we'll show you later on in the video. Hope you like this place as much as we do. So through the boardwalk, thought we'd share this special place with you. a blind to watch the wildlife and birds here. I'm hoping you can hear all the sounds. It's beautiful here. Behind door number one. See this beautiful lake, Lake Vaso. Just thought I'd mention this too. The bone door handles. Keep going up. <laughs> So here's the, the top of the of the shelter. Beautiful, beautiful view. So there's Penticton just down that way. Um, Okanagan Falls area. It's somewhere up in here, the, the falls and the park. And then this is Vaso Lake. Goes all the way into the valley. And Oliver is that direction. And this whole area now um, is like a wildlife reserve. There's all kinds of wild sheep that roam this area. Always tons of deer and stuff around. And then this is just a breeding ground for all kinds of birds. Here, I'll share this with you. So some of the birds that you can see here, coots, orioles, Woodpeckers, bald eagles, uh, osprey. We also just saw some uh, turkey vultures. Unfortunately, they don't come through on the pictures, otherwise I'd share them with you. But there was about seven or eight of them, and they were all getting air off of the, the cliffs there. Anyway, just wanted to share this special place with everyone, so I hope you like it. So here's the shelter in a different season before all of the green comes. Uh, three stories. You can sit in that little area where the little doors slide and you can watch the, the birds. They come with, um, without knowing that you're there so you get a much better chance of getting a really good picture through there. Again, another picture of the bench. Um, you'll see it later on uh, with all the greenery around. It's beautiful. Birds nest everywhere but another thing you also can't see once all the green comes in so I won't, wanted to throw this in here for you. So this entire path is just filled and teeming with wildlife. And all you can smell in the area is like this. These wild roses everywhere. Just the whole area smells sweet. Completely beautiful place. I have shared some pictures from here before when there was no green at all off season looks completely different than it does right now. Oh, wildlife tracks. All these paths in here. Sitting areas along the way. Most people don't even know that this path and this whole thing is here. Perfect place. So I'm including these pictures in here. These are pictures of the posters that are up in the area. They do not include all of the animals and wildlife and birds that you are going to see here. Um, it's incredibly 
beautiful. Those huge swans that are here, um, you see them across the lake, all kinds of different bats, little animals, badgers, you name it, it's in the area. There's cougars, there's bears, there's um, coyotes, there's the, the um, California mountain sheep that we're also going to be showing you. Absolutely incredible area if you love wildlife. This picture is showing you the uh, area that we were just at for all the bird sanctuary, just ahead there. And here's a closer picture. That's the whole area that we were just looking at. Now we're way above that, up in the mountains. So as you can see here, this was actually a volcanic area, and it's now the volcanoes have gone and everything's um, eroded. All of these mountains are like layers. You can see all the separate layers. You'll see some close-ups in some of my pictures um, showing you all the layers in the, in the rock formations that are here. absolutely incredible area and of course because this is pretty much all rock there's only certain animals that come in the area and live in this area huge huge chunks all broken apart but as you can see life continues and the greenery is starting to grow in the rocks themselves here you can see some of the layers that are in the rocks from these broken pieces. These are huge pieces that are bigger than houses. So uh, just to give you kind of a scope of how big they are. This is like double the height of a person. Absolutely incredibly beautiful, beautiful area. And then here, these are the guys that live up here. Now these are California uh, mountain sheep, absolutely gorgeous. They're really shy and really hard to get really good pictures. So I hope you can appreciate and see what I'm trying to show you. We just really enjoyed watching them in many cases. There's quite a few babies around, um, but every time we were trying to shoot the babies, the adults would like form circles around them. So they would hide the babies in the pictures. <laughs> and nest, now this nest is over four feet in diameter and it's over two and a half feet thick. There's also lots of cacti up here because it is actually the edge of the desert. Um, Asoyas itself is a desert. So I just wanted to throw these pictures in here of the cactuses that are up as well. So be careful if you do go up here walking, they will get into your shoes. Another whole family of the mountain sheep here. And here they're trying to surround all the little ones so that we can't see them in the pictures, unfortunately. They go up these mountains like nothing. <clears throat> Even though they actually seem like they're completely vertical slopes, they completely climb up and down them without any issues, even the little babies. Here's an adult and the baby up on the rock. And then a huge amount that are up on the rocks up here. So I, I hope you can see them. They're kind of, I put them in the center of the screen so that you can see them. They really blend in with the rocks and a lot of people probably just drive past them and never know that they're there. But these guys. So we really hope that you like, um, from our perspective, Vaso Lake area. It's an absolutely gorgeous area. Do take the time to check out not only the bird sanctuary area that we're telling you about, but also to drive up in the hills and look out for these little guys that are all fenced in now. They used to walk all over the highway, but they also used to get killed all the time. So we're glad they're fenced up now. Thank you for coming along on our travels.